Hey everyone, it's Frankie with Frankie for Life. Hey, thanks for tuning in to uh, my channel and watching uh, this video. I really appreciate it. I wanted to take uh, a moment today and make a quick video on my experience with switching from Comcast uh, internet service over to CenturyLink's uh, Gigabit Fiber. So basically, um, they, uh, you know, I ordered the service. They uh, came out the day before my scheduled appointment. They installed a fiber optic line from a telephone pole from in the back of my yard uh, to the back of my house. And um, then the next day they came out for my scheduled appointment and the technician installed uh, this device here. And uh, I'll show you the back of that device. He drilled a hole in the side of my wall. He came into my desk and he uh, ran the fiber optic line straight into this device. And then an ethernet line came out of this into this free modem that they gave me. So this is the CenturyLink Comcast, I mean CenturyLink uh, uh, modem router that they gave me. I'll show you the back of that. And uh, yeah, essentially those are the two pieces of equipment. So they, uh, they programmed everything, got everything working, and they packed up and left. Took them about an hour. And so uh, prior to this, my Comcast service, I've been getting about two, between 280 and 295 down and 30 up. That, my 30 up was the max that I could get. Um, and I was happy with that service, but I'd been waiting for Google Fiber for a couple of years, and so I was happy when CenturyLink said they could provide that. So... Uh, anyway, so they installed the service, and um, I ran the uh, a quick speed test, and this is what I was getting. So I was getting 434 down and 938 up. So I was happy with that because that's better than my Comcast service. And my Comcast, I was paying about 100 bucks a month, and now I'm paying 65 a month. So I was really happy with that speed. Um, I'm going to show you what... Uh, the, the service they offered me was right here. They uh, gave me a link to go to and I uh, put in my address and they told me they were going to give me for $65 a month, 940 up and 940 down, no contract, uh, free modem and installation, and then unlimited data. So that's why I signed up. Everything looked like a pretty good deal. I was saving money over my Comcast and supposed to get a lot better speed. And so you, you saw there that, um, you know, I was getting pretty good speed. You know, 434 is better than what I was getting, and 938 is definitely, you know, close to gigabit up. So I was really happy. Um, however, I decided that I wanted to use my own router. So I have this ASUS AC3100, and I wanted to hook up my CenturyLink uh, connection to this. So what I did is... I took the Ethernet port out of the back of uh, the modem that CenturyLink gave me, and I put it into my WAN port on my uh, uh, ASUS router. I logged into the web page by going to router.asus.com, and once I was logged in, I went to the uh, WAN section of the router, and under WAN connection type, I changed it to PPPoE, and I put in under account settings my username and password. So CenturyLink gave me a username and password for my service. This is not the username and password you use to log in to your online account. It's a specific username and password for your connection. So you have to get that from your technician or call CenturyLink, and they'll give it to you. So I made that change, and then I had to go into another section, the LAN section, and I went to IPTV. I changed the ISP profile to manual, and under internet, I changed the VID, I, I put in 201. This is info I found on the, on, I Googled this info. So I put in 201, and I applied the settings, restarted my router, and my connection showed to be live. And so, then I decided to run another speed test, and hey, voila, look at that. Now I'm getting gigabit down and gigabit up, and consistently this is what I've been getting for the last several of days, so I've been very happy. I just wanted to run a test right now to see what I'm getting uh, with you guys watching. 
and it looks like it's still consistently about the same so around 930 down and I'm probably going to get close to 940 up as well we'll see here yep about the same so it's been pretty consistent so as you can see uh, having a nicer higher end router uh, really did help in my download speed it made a huge difference and so I hope uh, by me posting this video it will help you take full advantage of your uh, CenturyLink gigabit fiber now I'm in the Salt Lake City Utah area but I'm sure this will work about anywhere um, your, your results may vary but uh, I'm sure by using your own router you'll get better speeds so thanks for taking the time to watch my video